Hey everybody, Logan here. We got some quick news this morning before getting off to some other videos that you guys really like. Controller videos. <laughs> Controller videos. If you, you like them a lot. Um, sure. <laughs> so, a uh, little bit of news. It hit, I actually, apparently, according to this article, it came out three days prior to reporting. I saw it uh, late last night. And it looks like the GTA 6 expected release window has been revealed by Xbox or Microsoft. It looks like they might know a bit more than we do. So this is going to give us a little bit of insight into exactly when uh, the game might be coming out. So here we got a lot of fluff over here. Let's scroll down to this part. This is the interesting part of the article. Uh, a new story is going around that suggests Microsoft has insight into when Rockstar will release GTA 6 as part of the ongoing situation between Microsoft, Sony, and regulators for the acquisition of Activision. The Xbox platform holder submitted a filing that talks about competitors to Activision and the value they bring to the industry. In the filing, Microsoft notes, that it expects Grand Theft Auto 6 to be released by 2024, meaning we'd be 24 months away from playing it at most. However, there is a catch. The filing cites an article from Tech Radar that gathers up all of the big GTA 6 rumors, which notes speculation surrounding a 2024 release date. A report from Bloomberg suggests Devs don't expect the game to release before 2024. Take-Two has projected significant growth by the end of the year, and other rumors suggest it could be ready by then. So, uh, by the end of 2024, is that what they're saying? I think that's what that means. Um, with all that said, it seems more likely that Microsoft doesn't know or isn't releasing its own information and is instead compiling a consensus from the internet. Either way, 2024 doesn't seem out of the question. By then, Rockstar will have had a six-year release gap from the previous title and 11 years since the last Grand Theft Auto. Okay, with that being said, Microsoft knows. Uh, they have to. Take two, Rockstar, whatever you want to, whichever company you want to, reference uh they are in contact with the the platform devs or the platform manufacturers because they have they have to be so i don't think microsoft knows the exact day and date uh i'm pretty sure they have a year which is 2024 but they need something to present so by not releasing their own information, their own paperwork, or their own talks with Rockstar or Take Two, whatever, they can say, hey, we technically didn't say anything, we didn't release it, but they're like, hey, see all this stuff on the internet? It's showing you it's 2024. And that's what they're doing. So um, I would be very hard pressed to believe that they don't know. So. I don't agree with this. With all that said, it seems more like that Microsoft doesn't know. They know the I they, they know the time frame. They know the year. And 2024 really seems to be pretty on point. It'll be 11 years since Grand Theft Auto 5. But hey, they're releasing a ton of content for uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. And what I think is they're going to continue the same Grand Theft Auto Online into uh, GTA 6 and expand it in some sort of way. Maybe you'll be able to jump from um, San Andreas to Vice City or something. They're going to do something like that and I think it's going to uh, cross over instead of create a whole new Grand Theft Auto online. I don't think they want to abandon all the people, all those players who have invested so much time and money into it and say, all right, we're done with that. And now you guys buy the new one. I think it's going to be uh, more like exporting player base from five to six and then just kind of bring it over and streamline it but uh with all that being said if we take a look and we think back about elites and how terrible the gameplay looked, um 
we know it's an early alpha. So 2024 makes more sense to have that kind of footage now leak and then have the game not come out still for another almost 24 months. That makes sense. The end of 2024 makes a lot of sense because the next two years are going to be polishing because it looks like they have the basic mechanics down. They have the story down. They have the, the ideas and everything that they want. Now it's polishing. Yes, it will take about two years worth of polishing for a game that size. They can always implement small changes here and there. They can implement changes to the story, to character, stuff like that um, over two years worth of development time. So I think they really don't want uh, what happened to Saints Row to happen to this because Saints Row is a disaster. Saints Row was just utter trash. It was just a garbage fire. And they don't want to really look at that. And after what people are saying, people are complaining about, you know, the storyline and the characters and whatnot. Um, two years down the way is is a lot. So technically we're on the cusp of 2023. Still, this looks like the end of 2024 and we're at the end of 2022. So 24 months, probably November of 2024. That makes a lot of sense. So we'll see. We've got time. What do you guys think about this? Uh, do you hope it's 2024? We don't think it's going to be any earlier. Uh, that'd be nuts to see it next year. I don't think so. 2025, I think might be pushing it. I think 2024 is still the sweet spot for this game because it's it's about time. And like they said, it's been, what, six years since, what was that, Red Dead Redemption 2? And rumors of a new bully game, but, you know, being 2022, people are offended by stuff like that. So Rockstar has shown that they care more about that than they actually care about player base. But that's for another video. Uh, so yeah, you guys tell me what you think about that, uh, about GTA's expected release date and Microsoft kind of, sort of, maybe saying they're leaking it, I don't know, but it sounds like this this could be a legit thing. But hey, it is what it is, we'll find out in the near future. So thank you guys so much for watching, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Oh, did I mention hit that subscribe? I'm a broken record. Follow us on our socials. <laughs> Make sure you turn on that little uh, bell icon so you can get notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.